Good morning, Saugus. I'm Katie Garibay, and today is Friday, February 21st. And I'm Olivia Kern, and this is SNN. Some of you may have felt the earthquake this morning around 545. It was a 3.5 on the Richter scale with the epicenter only a mile away from the Castaic Dam. It serves as a reminder to always be prepared. Keep shoes at your bedside and always have a flashlight, not your phone, in reaching distance. Moving on to today's fact of the day, we thought we'd introduce you to Maggie L. Walker. Born in 1864, Walker is best remembered for being a teacher as well as an influential businesswoman. She became the first African-American woman to charter a bank and serve as its president in the United States. As a leader, she strived to make life easier for African-Americans and women. Without her, we wouldn't be where we are today. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Over the last few days, we have been reporting to you that after the third time not having your ID card on campus, you'd get a Saturday school. This three-strike rule for forgetting your IDs has been revoked. There are no longer any consequences for forgetting your student ID. We just wanted to put to rest any rumors. You should still bring your ID card to not complicate the process. Winter Formal will be held on Saturday, February 29th. Tickets are on sale this week for $40 with an ASB card and $45 without. The Sadie Hawkins dance has been rescheduled to March 21st. Sadie's tickets purchased last semester may only be used towards Sadie's and not Winter Formal. The dance pack can be used for both dances. Prices increase every week, so make sure to get them as early as possible. The Regional Admissions Counselors of California, or RACC, is an organization of admission representatives who work in California and represent public and private colleges from throughout the U.S. They will be on campus with the out-of-state college fair next week, Monday at lunch. See your counselor for more information. Key Club is partnering with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in their annual Pennies for Patients campaign. They will be collecting your pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and dollars in your second period class every day. The weekly winners will be announced on Mondays and receive donuts for their efforts. The overall winning class receives lunch from Olive Garden delivered to their classroom. Now let's go to our principal, Mr. Ferry, with a quick message. Happy Friday, Centurions. Just real quickly, with the ID cards, you need to bring them. Um, you've always had to bring your ID cards to school, but understand there will probably be some consequences. We're still trying to figure that out, but you do need to bring your ID cards with you to school. Um, it's just important that you have them on, the, uh, on you at all times. Um, some of you have probably noticed we're doing some renovations to the quad. I've had a chance to speak with a group of students and parents regarding what that renovation is going to look like. So you kind of have an idea. Hopefully by the end of spring break, um, the grass area in the, in the quad, we're going to have artificial turf around the trees. We're going to have some circular concrete benches for you to sit on. And also on the back wall, we're uh, planting some bougainvillea. Um, that's kind of a pinkish flower on it and we're gonna have a topiary that's a giant SHS in the middle We'll still have memorial walls on each side and uh, We're looking forward to the completion of that project guys once again use your planners teachers Please have your students use your planners have a great and safe weekend back to Katie now Good morning, Saugus. I'm Marissa Lamas with your sports news. Girls Lacrosse plays Dos Pueblos today at Dos Pueblos. Varsity plays at 4.30 and JV plays at 6. Varsity Boys Lacrosse plays El Camino Real tomorrow at Saugus at 2. Also tomorrow, Varsity Softball plays in the Heart Tournament. 
JV plays in the Camarilla Tournament, and Frosch plays in the Ayala Tournament. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. The intramur excuse me, the intramural three-on-three -three basketball tournament will continue in the gym at lunch on Monday and Thursday of next week. Great prizes will be given to the winning teams. The ASB office still has sign-up sheets if you're interested in playing, or you can show up with at least three people to the gym on Monday at lunch. That's all for me. We'll be right back after this. She told me to stay. Stay and play board games with her when she got home from school. He told me to stay. Stay up late and watch movies together until he fell asleep. When I got older, everyone told me to stay. Stay in school, stay focused, but it all became too much. Too much pain, too much pressure, too much stress. It got to the point where my life felt pointless, empty. But I stayed. I talked to people about my feelings. I opened up to my friends and family, and it helped. I was finally able to focus on the amazing things life has to offer. I wanted to be able to meet new people, try new things, love, and be loved. I chose to stay, and you can too. If you see anyone struggling with their mental health, make sure to reach out. All freshmen interested in enrolling in Honors English 10 next year, see your current English teacher for an application. And now for your scholarship news. The Santa Clarita Arts Association provides scholarships to promising student artists in the community. Students must be graduating seniors with plans for continuing their education in the arts. For more information, go to the website listed below or pick up a flyer in the counseling office. The Jacob Zamora Memorial Foundation Scholarship is for graduating seniors with a GPA range of 2.5 to 3.4. If you are interested, you can pick up an application in the counseling office. Applications must be mailed and postmarked by March 9th. That's all for today. I'm Katie Garibay. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Olivia Kern. Have a great day and a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.